today we are going to take a look at a sequence developed by Listen Inc. and offered for free that utilizes the Harmon predictive model within it to calculate listener preference from a pair of left and right headphone measurements. The Harmon predictive model and its target curve were created as a tool for consumer headphone manufacturers to get a better idea of what listeners want on average in terms of performance from the products they buy. Sean Olive, Omid Kansari Poor, and Todd Welty were the authors of this paper and orchestrated the listening test used to build the model. Let's now transition to soundcheck and see how the sequence runs. One of the great things about this sequence is that it does not require any hardware to actually be connected to your computer to run the model and perform calculations. So this is great because the only interface I have connected to this computer right now is the one I'm using to record this voiceover. So now we run the sequence and we can see that it immediately prompts us to either make a measurement or recall data. I don't have a head and torso simulator like my boss, Steve Tat. So uh, I am going to just say no, and I'm going to recall data. It asks if it's going to be an over the ear or an in-ear measurement. So I'm going to be doing, uh, just going to want to look at an over ear measurement. So I'll say one. And at this point, this is where I pick the data that I'm actually using for the sequence to analyze. So we have this default data that's included with the sequence. But this is also when you would take a left and right headphone measurement that's saved in one DAT file, and you could point to your own data that you might have gathered from your server at work or a measurement that you've just made recently. I'll grab the data for headphone A. At the end of the sequence, we can see that it has run, and there is an Excel document that's created that we'll look at in a second. But just off the bat, we have some preliminary curves that were generated. There's the left and right of the headphone that we recalled. There is the averaged left and right measurement, which is this red. And then there is this target curve that was actually just recalled from the model. And then the error curve is used for some of the calculations that are going to be seen in the spreadsheet. So now let's hop over into the spreadsheet and take a look at that. Here we're looking at the report that is generated at the end of the sequence. Within this report is the data that was actually recalled and some calculations that carry over from the paper that was written by the Harmon team uh, for their model. So in general, what we see is we have the fundamental average that we were gathering in soundcheck. There is the green with, uh, curve, which is the target curve, and then the error curve, which factors into part of these calculations down here at the bottom. The number that people are mostly interested in when they are looking at the result of this report is the preference rating. So the preference rating is out of 100. I highly suggest that you read the paper if you're interested in what goes into it. Um, but basically, the closer that this preference is to 100, the closer that this actual response of the left and right average is going to match this target curve, which Harmon has found to be preferred amongst an average of listeners across ages and genders and throughout the headphones that they measure. So, you know, definitely in check out the sequence, the demo data. If you have real data available, then by all means, use it. And, you know, you can write up your own report and share it with coworkers. And this is a great resource and jumping off point. So thank you very much for joining us and have a good one.